had such a great first day um, working at the school and now I'm gonna go for a walk with my family and we're gonna go like look at the view because we're in the mountains and it's gorgeous so this is Kogolo uh, that mountain over there apparently in World War II uh, the Germans landed on top of that mountain and the Germans and the Italians had a huge battle there and so yeah the mountain is called Desenio oh my gosh I can't even say it anymore but yeah this is Kogolo it's very pretty I'm not used to buildings being like this kind of design or shape and like the colors are so beautiful hi everyone quick update so today was so nice um after um after work we then uh we came home i did some more work um with the mum of the um italian host family that i'm staying with we both did work together she's so lovely honestly like this family is great like we get along so well so funny uh, and then they had arranged for all the people all the tutors all the people who were working um to like go to a pizza pizzeria so basically like a pizza restaurant and we all went and we had pizza and we had a great time i had a pizza called estate um plus rosabello which is like rose wine and oh, guys okay so england is missing a trick on not having all aubergines on pizza no aubergines on pizza bad okay <laughs> so i've been working with children this entire time but they're Ital italian children and so they don't speak english and so in order to communicate with them because they're quite young you mime a lot oh my gosh i'm still doing it. you mime a lot and you speak you enunciate very clearly and you speak in essentially broken english so instead of saying if you do that again you're going to get in trouble you say you do again bad no you know so um now when i'm speaking english it's like really weird you're you're probably going to see my english degrade ironically enough but i'm picking up lots of um interesting italian words which is great and like i have quite an ear for languages which is awesome which i never really knew till quite recently and so i pick up words and phrases really really quickly my favorite italian word so far is ragazzi ragazzi and it literally just means boys so i hear it all the time or like guys hmm. oh i need to sneeze it's not like <laughs> buongiorno ragazzi beautiful like i wake up every morning and the view outside even the my bathroom is mountains like gorgeous mountains and gorgeous sunrise over the mountains and it's just it's beautiful and it's so peaceful and yeah i'm happy and I so this is like literally the only day it's rained here in italy i'm going to go oh my god say hi to the camera <laughs> ciao, ciao. this is my friend julian ciao, <laughs> he sei, works at the school I vendi un regalo ah. para mi familia. Ah, bene. Yes, sí, in that shop. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Va a mangiare fuori? Ah, mangia pizza, pizza, pizza. Uh, before. Ah, yes, pizza. before. Where you go home? Ciao. Oh, ciao. Ah, sí, ah, okay. Tre chilometri. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what it's close. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got to witness my appalling italian then um, but yeah i'm gonna go buy a present for my host family i found like the one shop in Cogolo that will give me a present i think i met today um so i went into a shop for reasons which i cannot say Shh. um and the, there was a lady there and i was like oh my gosh they're gonna think i'm so weird hang on let me sit down let me sit and talk to you here we go that's so much better so I was like, mm, they're gonna think I'm so weird because like I've just been walking around this shop for ages and I don't speak any Italian. So I was just like, ciao, and then just wandered around. Um, but then the woman who was there, she wasn't really like staring at me or anything, but then her daughter came in and I was trying to say, oh, can you get this? Cause they had to like pick it, the item off the shelf for me. And I didn't know how to say that. So I just pointed and I was like, questo, questo. Cause I think that's the word for, you know, this one. 
Um, and then the woman was like, cool, cool, cool. She came over, put it in the box for me. And then her daughter was standing next to her. And she said, oh, you know, I speak English. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it turns out she studies linguistics. And we had this like incredible conversation for ages. Um, and then I was saying something about like, oh, has she been, or, cause she said, oh, where are you from? And I said, I'm from England, I live here. And then she was like, oh, I'm going to, to Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so I was telling her about Edinburgh Fringe Fest on at the moment because she's going soon. I was like, yeah, it's really cool. Enjoy. Um, and then I was like, oh, why are you going to Edinburgh? And then she was like, oh, I'm going with school. And I was like, hang on, hang on. How old are you? And she's 17. I thought she was like a full-blown adult. I was like, that is crazy. Anyway, we had like the nicest of conversations. I wish I had recorded it for you. Like she would have been so up for being on the camera, but like, I don't know. It was just such a nice organic moment. And yeah, you know, it just didn't, I just, mm, so I didn't. But hopefully I'll see her tomorrow. She's so lovely. We're following each other on social media now. So we'll definitely keep in touch. Like so nice. But yeah, she's studying linguistics, which is like really cool. I've always kind of thought like, I'm just really obsessed with linguistics really recently. Like I want to learn Italian. I want to learn Portuguese. I want to learn tree. Um, it's not really anything else at the moment that I'm feeling like a hard pressure burn to learn. But then after that, I think it would make sense to then learn Spanish because you know, I've really felt no desire to learn French, but I think I'm genuinely still scarred from French GCSE. This is my first cappuccino. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? Let me record. I'm recording. Reaction. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Do you want me to pick it? Yes, please. Yeah. Is it really? okay? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's really nice. Is it? I thought it was going to be a don't lot don't stronger. <laughs> don't, don't be, <laughs> be honest. Don't tell the truth. Gonna big his head up. No, no, no. It's really nice. That's I thought it would be because I don't like. Sta registrando. <laughs> I know. It's really good. I don't usually like. Um, like really strong coffee, uh -huh. but it's like a nice. Oh, I'm happy. Would you like some sugar in it? No, no it's fine. It's fine. I'm surprised it doesn't have sugar actually. Oh, the the senza mozzarella, patatosa, and aperitivo. <laughs> it's time for me to leave my wonderful host family. They've been amazing and it's goodbye to Kogolo. Goodbye room. I'm gonna miss you. Hello. What is this change of location you may be asking? Well, I'm now at my second host family. I just left my first host family. Oh my gosh, that exchange was emotional. I legit cried. I didn't think I would cry, but then I, I did cry. <laughs> it was more emotional than I thought it would be. Said goodbye to the two boys I was staying with and to the parents, but it's not goodbye. It's not adios. It is, oh, what's their word? Something like out of vista or something like that. Like, I'll see you later. I'm definitely going to come back and visit and they can come and visit me anytime. Um... So yeah, I'm at my new family's place. They've got three little girls. They're all so sweet. And like, one of them is like super, super young. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then the other two are like the ones, you know, that I've been speaking to because the, the smaller one was asleep when I came in. And they're just so lovely and eager to like converse and stuff, even though like one of them doesn't even really speak English at all. Like, it's so precious. And then yeah, like, and the, and the parents are lovely as well. So I'm really excited to be here. Oh, just. So yeah, the, one of the girls has given me her room, so hence, look at like how cute and purple everything is, like it's adorable. She took it. Paddington two time. 
la stessa cosa cioè, perché tanto io living my best life mm. I'm going to watch Paddington 2 for the very first time <gasps> oh yes you can flip it up like that <gasps> she's amazed you want to see <sighs> and my my sisters my two <sighs> nephews they um they both had the same due date but a year, uh, a year apart so my sisters a bit like they're different sisters, not the same sister, and they had the same duty. This is the first venture into Verona. Hey everyone, we're finally here. I had a really long nap in the car, so um, yeah, if I seem really sleepy, this is why. <laughs> so we're going to, to uh, I can't say it in Italian, Balcon di Giulietta, maybe? Yes, I got a thumbs up and uh, some other places which I'm very excited for. I'm just, honestly, I'm just excited. Can we climb up there? Do you know? Yeah, we can. Yes. So I'm really excited to go stand on the balcony and pretend to be Juliet. So we're here with like all our host family parents and all our host family children and the... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just vlogging. I do that sometimes. <laughs> just talk to myself on the camera. Would you like to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. Uh, I was just telling everyone how um, I love the family that I'm staying with. And the children are so cute. Oh, and I have a younger daughter, but she is currently at home. She's very, very sweet. Well, oh, no, with um, Grandad? Hi. Yeah, both of yes. Grandad, yes. So this is my very first view of Verona. I haven't even ever seen it. So pretty. Okay, I will speak to you later when I'm at Balcon de Giulietta. <laughs> can you see it? Can you see it there? Is the famous arena of Venice. But I actually don't Verona. Wow, not Venice, the other place. <laughs> like so many um, notes that people write to Juliet like love notes and things like that it was lovely and now we're walking around trying to find somewhere to eat the poshest McDonald's I have ever seen they do not make this in England y'all hey we're back from Verona such a lovely day Verona guys Verona I did not know I would be going to Verona when I came to Italy I don't know why I'm speaking weirdly but like it was so lovely so so far I've been to Morostica I've been to Skia I've been to Cogolo I've been to Murano which is where I am and I've been to Verona yes I think that covers it all and I landed in Bologna so I've been there too and I've been to Modena 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 not Modena so British, Moderna. So this is Holly. Say ciao, Holly. Ciao. She's the only person I haven't showed you in the house yet, but look how pretty she is. She's so fluffy. <laughs> she comes up to me every morning and bucks. <laughs> she licked my armpit. No. <laughs> Say hi, she's so precious. 
<laughs> say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Just gonna lick me again. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> it's my last day in Italy. Holly, will you miss me? I'm gonna take that as a yes.